and welcome to TMNK Fitness at Home. I'm so excited that you're going to be doing an upper body workout with me today. Here's a few things that you'll need. A mat, make sure you have plenty of room around your mat so that you don't trip over anything. And if possible, uh, two sets of dumbbells. So you'll need a heavier set that we're gonna use for your larger muscle groups like your chest and your back. And then you're gonna need a smaller set that you might wanna use if you get a little tired and fatigued, um, but also for those smaller muscles like the triceps and uh, shoulders. So uh, while you're collecting those items, I just want to remind you that all of these workouts are intended for TMMK Fitness members only. So if you're not a member, just know that you're doing this workout at your own risk. Okay, let's get started. The format for today, uh, we're gonna warm up a little bit and then uh, we're gonna be doing supersets. They're gonna last for 30 seconds um, for each exercise uh, for about three rounds. And then we'll switch to a couple of different exercises. So that's kind of how it will flow today. You can certainly go at your own pace when we do things like this that are timed. Uh, so as long as you're keeping good form, you can do whatever speed that you like. All right, so we're gonna start out real simple. You don't need any equipment for this. Um, I want you to pack your shoulders, so don't let them scrunch up to your ears. Pack your shoulders, raise your arms, and we're gonna do some forward circles just to get the joints loosened up a little bit and prepared for movement. So forward, big circles, and then reverse. Big circles here. Good. If it's been a while since you've done these, uh, <laughs> please don't fly through them. You might want to slow down a little bit and get your joints used to the movement. One more. Good. Now this time, uh, same concept, but we're going to crisscross Every time you do this, you're going to switch which arm is going on top. Good. Now, we're going to do a tricep stretch. You're going to take one arm, bring it up over your head. Place your hand on your back. Gently press down on the elbow. Try not to let your arms up here push your head forward. So stand very tall. Good. Let's do the other side. Press that arm down. Awesome. Okay, still as part of um, getting prepared for movement, we're going to do an exercise that's really going to wake up the lower trap muscles. So that's going to be located about in here on your back. Okay, so it's mid to low back area. All right, so you're gonna come down onto the mat for this. You don't need any equipment. Face down. Now, I want you to actually physically rest your head on your mat. You're gonna bring your arms up into um, almost like a Y, into a kind of a V, um, over your head, thumbs up. And I want you to pack your shoulders, so again, don't let your shoulders scrunch up by your ears. Press them down, keep those shoulder blades down. And while you're resting your head, we're gonna start with the left arm and you're going to lift it up a few inches off of the floor. We're gonna do about 10 a piece. So go ahead and rest your head. Take your thumb and extend up. So your goal is to keep your arm as straight as you can. You might feel like you want to bend at the elbow, but let's not do that. And the reason we're doing this, the lower trap muscle tends to be a little underutilized and it can affect our performance in other exercises. Let's do one more. So we're gonna wake it up before we get started. Okay, so face down, other side, and lift. So hopefully you guys can feel some tightness happening <laughs> in that muscle of your back. Good. Now we're going to do a second round. We're going to cut our reps in half. We're going to do five and five. Okay, so left side, five here. Good. 
and five over here. All right. <laughs> so hopefully you can feel that. You can tell that these muscles right in here are awake and they're on fire and uh, they are working. So first group of exercises we're going to do in our supersets um, is going to involve just holding a plank and then we're going to stand up and we're going to do a shoulder press. Okay. So I'm going to keep the clock running through all of these. So you don't necessarily have to Wait for me to say go. Um, part of it is your ability to transition from the floor to standing up. Um, so that's kind of part of the workout too. So um, down here on the mat, we're gonna start out into a plank. It's only gonna last for 30 seconds. And I'm gonna have you start out on your elbows. If you're, if you're advanced in planks and you wanna do these from your toes, you can. But if you have any back issues or you're kinda new at planks, it's okay to do them from the knees. All right, so coming down here. Go ahead and place your hands facing up, elbows directly underneath the shoulders, and ready, <laughs> lift up, right here. So again, if this is too strenuous, pop down to your knees like this. This is still activating your core. Takes a little load off of that lower back while still building your core. Okay, so keep holding. Get ready to stand up, grab your dumbbells for a shoulder press. Three, two, and one. So you can use either set, whatever you're used to using for shoulders. And you're just going to go right into a press. Now, when you press up, um, you want to make sure that you don't arch your back. So go ahead and keep that pelvis kind of tucked a little bit. Good, we have about 10 seconds to go. Keep your core tight, that'll help keep your posture where it needs to be. And good, back down here to the plank. So we have one round down, we have two more to go before we switch exercises. I'm just gonna keep the clock running. Good. Keep going, keep going. Again, you can pop down here to your knees if you need to. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, shoulder press. Pack the shoulders down. Keep the core engaged. You're doing good, 10 seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Good, this is round three. So this will be the last time that we do these. Plank. Make sure those elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. You don't wanna let your back sway. You don't want this to happen. Keep it centered. Good, 10 seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay, grab some water if you need it while I explain the next two exercises. Um, this one pretty basic, we're gonna lay on our back. Um, if you have two sets of dumbbells, you're gonna probably want your heavier ones for this. We're gonna do a chest press laying on the ground. And then we'll put those to the side. We're gonna flip over onto our stomach and we're gonna do like a lat pull down motion without any weight, but you're gonna be able to feel that in your back, okay? So we gotta get creative when we're at home with limited resources. So trying to make it easier for you guys. Go ahead and come down here. Grab your heavier dumbbells. Okay. Lay on the back. Now, one option that you have right here, you can put your feet flat on the ground if you wanna activate the core a little bit by raising those up, just don't bring them in here. <laughs> so keep them at at least, you know, 90 degrees at least right here. If you wanna take it out a little farther, you can to make it more challenging. Okay, ready? And go. When you take the dumbbells down, just try not to let the elbows slam the floor. You don't want them to bounce off of the floor. 
Exhaling as you lift up. And one more thing, try to keep your low back pressed into the floor. That will activate your core a little bit more. Three, two, and one. Okay, so for that lat pull motion, flip over, extend your arms up. Still though, keep your, keep your shoulders out of your ears, okay? Ready, and pull. And as you're pulling, you're going to be lifting the torso off of the mat. Three, two, one, flip, back to chest press. Low back on the floor. Good, exhaling as you're pressing up. Don't let the elbows bounce. Make sure those weights are over top of your chest and not over top of your face. Three, Two, one, excellent. Lat pull, pack the shoulders. If you're not used to doing things on your stomach like this, sometimes it's kind of awkward to breathe until you get the hang of it. Just be sure you're not holding your breath. Four, Three, two, and one. Good, we have one more round. Low backs down, and press. Hang in there, got about eight seconds to go. This is the last round for the chest presses. Two, and one. Good, flat pull last time. Pack the shoulders, go. Doing good, 15 seconds to go. Wanna make sure you're looking down at your mat and not straight ahead. So keep that spine in good alignment. And rest. Good job. Okay, grab some water if you need it. Now the next two exercises, um, pretty simple. We're gonna be doing um, the row, one arm at a time. So you're gonna take your heaviest dumbbell. And we're gonna row, okay? Now we're just gonna switch. We're gonna do the other side, all right? So just back and forth, back and forth. So you stay one of your heavy dumbbells. Now your posture is really important with this um, particular exercise. I'm gonna have you get into a split stance, okay? You're gonna first stand really tall. Try not to let this arch too much. So let's fix your pelvis like that, okay? Now from here, I'm gonna have you lean forward just at the hips, keeping the core tight and the shoulders down. The last thing you want to happen is this, okay? So you gotta keep all that packed in, good form. Then you're gonna pull straight up, elbow toward the ceiling. Ready, and go. So just like this, you're keeping that dumbbell really close to your body. As you get tired, you might have a tendency to take the elbow out to the side. You also might have a tendency to stand up <laughs> like this, but try to maintain this angle the whole time. Three, two, one, switch. So again, fix the pelvis, hinge forward at the hips, and lift. Make sure you're supporting yourself with this hand on your leg. Elbow close to the body. And when we're switching between legs, I want you to stand all the way up when you make that transition. Don't stay in this bent over position for the whole three minutes. Good, okay, let's switch. So stand all the way up <laughs> and then turn and go. Good. Looking good, 
you're halfway there on this side. This is round two. That, like I said, as you're getting tired, just try to continue to keep that elbow close to your side. Three, two, one, stand all the way up. Switch. And go. Exhale as you lift that weight. Fifteen more seconds, and then we will start round three. Keep those shoulders down out of your ears. Three, two, one. Switch sides. And go. Good. Keep going, keep going. Focus on your breathing, exhaling as you lift the weight, keeping the core engaged. I know we say that a lot, hand switch, but it's really uh, to help your posture so that you don't injure your back. So the stronger that you keep your core, the less likely you'll get injured in the long run. Ten seconds. Let's get it. Come on. Four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. We're going to move right along. So, next exercise that we'll be doing, um, bicep curls, okay, with our dumbbells. And then we're going to come down to the mat and we're going to do a triceps push-up. That's where you're going to have a close grip. So, a lot of times when we do push-ups, our elbows go out at about 45 degrees as we go down. For these tricep push-ups, they're going to be right by your body, okay? I'll explain that again when we get down there. We're going to start out bicep curls first, okay? Whatever size weight you think we would like to use. Pack those shoulders and engage the core. Here we go. A couple of reminders when you're doing bicep curls. You want to work through the full range of motion for today's curl that we're doing. So what that means, you're gonna come all the way up to your shoulders. And then when you come down, you don't necessarily need to lock out the elbows, but you wanna get them almost straight, okay? Good. All right, let's come down here to the floor. So, close grip, so your hands are gonna be right next to your chest. And your elbows are gonna shoot back behind you. Here we go. So I'm doing the version on the knees. You can do these from your toes also. You're keeping everything close to your body. Back is straight. So four, three, two, and one. Good. Back up here as quickly as you can. Back to the bicep curls. Good. Keep going. Exhale as you lift these weights. You got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Tricep push ups. Hands in close. Right into it. Halfway there. Now, if you start to get tired, you can pause. It's best to pause in the upright position to get going again with good form. Four, three, two, and one. One more round. Bicep curls. Doing good. Keep going. Fifteen seconds. Four, three, two, one, and last time for the push-ups. Hands under your shoulders. Keep the elbows tucked in close to your body. Elbows going straight. 
straight back to the room behind you. Four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. We're going to move right along. We're so close. So hang in there, okay? This time, um, we're going to be doing reverse curls with our dumbbells and front raises. Okay, so depending on, uh, you know, the strength you've got going on in your biceps versus your shoulders, you might be able to do heavier reverse curls than you can front raises, um, but they may be about the same too. So the point is you may switch out dumbbells between exercises or you may choose to use the same weight um, for both exercises. So we're gonna start out um, reverse curls. These can be a little tricky. Um, if you're not used to them, they feel kind of awkward. So you're going to keep your elbows just like when we did tricep push-ups, close to your body, and then curl this way. So my palms are facing forward when they're up by my shoulders. Okay, so that's the difference. This might happen. This isn't <laughs> what we're looking for here. So reverse curls right here. Get your forearms real good and your biceps. Ready, set, go. One thing to point out as you get tired, you might find a tendency to swing a little bit. So it's a little subtle, but you can see my back moving, okay? Try not to do that. <laughs> Engage your core. If you can't control it, your weight's a little too heavy. So decrease your weight, it's okay. No one will see you switching. <laughs> and good. Okay, front raises. I'm definitely gonna decrease for front raises, personally. So, pack those shoulders and lift. So, there's a difference between packed shoulders here and unpacked shoulders here. See this? See my chest is caving in when I do this? So, keep them back. Good. And reverse curls. Exhale as you lift. Some of those elbows close to your side. If it starts to get really heavy, single arm. Good. So five, four, three, two, and one. Front raises. Same thing with front raises. If they start to get too heavy, you can go to single arms. Just gives that one arm a little extra a second to recover. Keep those abs tight. So right here, single arm if you need to. Try not to let your torso swing. <laughs> Good. Okay, round three. Reverse curls. Exhale as you lift. Way there. Awesome. Eight seconds. Three, two, and one. Last time for the front raises. Pack those shoulders down. Engage your abs. Four, three, two, and one. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, um, one more group of exercises. It's actually one exercise. We're just going to alternate between right and left arms. This is going to be um, on your back, on your mat. You're going to need one dumbbell. It's going to be an extension for working triceps. So, I'm going to have you lay all the way back. Again, if you want to work your core a little bit while you're down here, Definitely press your low back to the floor. Everyone should do that. Um, but if you want to raise your legs to make it harder, you can certainly do that as well. Okay, you're gonna extend your arm straight up. So your dumbbell is directly over your shoulder. Not way back here, not way out here. So directly lined up. The only thing that you're gonna bend 
is going to be your elbow. Don't let this joint move right here. Don't let your shoulder move. You're going to aim the end of the dumbbell to the opposite shoulder and extend it up. Okay? Ready? Let's do it. So, again, your goal is just to extend the elbow at the elbow joint. Don't let there be any movement in the shoulder. Okay? You're just extending straight up. So you're aiming that dumbbell down toward the opposite shoulder. Good. Let's switch hands. So directly above, bend it down. Good. Keep that low back pressed into the floor. You're doing it. You're doing good. Get those abs engaged. hands and extend. So when you're in this down position right here, this elbow should be pointed straight up to the ceiling, not way down here, not out to the side. Keep going. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, switch hands. Good. Mm -hmm. Hang in there. Ten more seconds, and then we have one more set for each arm. So we are almost at three. Two, and one, switch. Again, no movement in the shoulder joint, just the elbow joint. You should be feeling this right in here. <laughs> the back of your arm. You're almost there on this side, 10 seconds. Doing good, doing good. Four, three, two, one, last time. Keeping that low back down. You got it. Don't stop yet, you got 10 seconds to go. Then we're gonna stretch. Five, four, three, Two and one. All right. Good job. Let's go ahead and roll over onto your stomach right here. I'm going to have you place your hands um, in that same spot that we were going to do tricep push-ups in, so right here next to your chest. And I'm going to have you extend up just a little bit. Now, if this is hard on your back, you can certainly sit like this with your arms out here. That might be a little bit more comfortable for you if you have any mobility issues back there. If you don't, you're welcome to extend up a little farther. Okay, when you're ready, you're going to push back and try to sit back onto your heels. Once you get back as far as you can, keep your head looking down, keep your eyes looking down at your mat, and then take your fingertips, walk forward just a little bit. Good. Now, let's lower the elbows down onto the floor and reach your hands to your upper back. And get a good stretch in those triceps. And release that. Good. Let's stand up. Almost done. Okay. Roll those shoulders back a little bit. Bring one arm across. And gently stretch out the shoulder. Good. Okay, last one. Switch. All right, that's great. Good job, everyone. So glad that you joined me today. I hope you got a really great workout in. 
Hopefully you'll be filming a little bit tomorrow too, but not too much. And be sure to check out all of our workouts on Facebook and YouTube. There's really something out there for everyone. Bye-bye.